go through rationalize the denominator. So what that means is that first you're going to deal with a radical. This is a radical. Some of you are asking what is a radical on the pretest. That is a radical. So this written just that way, if I if I put down this, I would say the square root of 16. So I would say that out loud that this is the square root. That's how I would say that. And so this is a radical. And then 16 is the radicand. So we call this the radicand. It's the radicand. And this is the radical. Okay. So this is the radical. This is the radicand. So you take the square. But I would just read this as the square root of 16. So. You guys probably know 1x is the same thing as x, so we get so, sort of like bored of writing 1 in front of the x, and you know an x means there's an invisible coefficient of 1. So if you just see a radical with no root on it, that means the square root. So the square root of 16. So if I was going to simplify the square root of 16, that equals 4. So what you're doing is you're saying what two numbers multiplied by itself make 16. 4 times 4 equals 16. It could also be negative 4, because negative 4 times negative 4 is 16. It has to be the same exact number. Now, you also might have a little number right there, and that's called the root. So technically, I could write this as the second root or the square root of 16. This one would be the third root of 8. So I would say the third root of 8. When you're looking for the third root, you want to know what times what times what. You want something to be multiplied by itself three times. So does anybody know what is, what's multiplied by itself three times to make 8? 2. 2. 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8. So this equals 2. Now, this one cannot be negative because negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. So I could take the third root of negative 8 and that equals negative 2, whereas the square root of 16 could be 4 because 4 times 4 is, 6, is positive 16 or negative 4 times negative 4 is positive 16. So when you have an even root, you can have a positive solution and a negative solution. When you have an odd root, you're either going to have a positive solution or you're going to have a negative solution. You're not going to have both. So one part of rationalizing the denominator is you need to understand how these radicals work. So another piece of that is how do I multiply radicals? So let's say this is the square root of 16, and I want to multiply by the square root of 16. So what is the square root of 16? 4. 4. Times 4 is what? 16. Is 16. So I could say the square root of 16 times the square root of 16 is 16. However you think about it is up to you. If you want to take the square root and multiply it by the square root, you can do that. Or another way to write this is square root of 16 times itself is the square root of 16 squared. So the squared undoes the square root. Give me a pause. So these are three different ways to see. You have a square root times a square root, that's just 16. Or if you think through it and take the square root first and multiply, that 16. Or anything times itself is squared. So this squared and the square root undoes itself. So when we're going to rationalize the denominator, one of like the math rules is we don't like having radicals in the denominator. So we don't like to see the square root of 2 in the denominator. It's just kind of one of those math rules that we always simplify. It's kind of like if you had, um, I don't know, I'm trying to think of something else we always simplify. If you had like 3x plus 5x equals 8, we would always simplify. We would never just leave it that way. We would always combine it. So if you have the square root of 2 in the denominator, you want to rationalize it. So to get rid of the square root, what you do is you multiply by whatever square root you have in the denominator times itself, because what's a radical of a number times the radical of a number? It is, it comes out. 
So this is going to be 2, and then 1 times the square root of 2 stays in the numerator. 